hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video we are going to learn about uh, build stages and jobs in travis so uh, first of all uh, you have to know about uh, what is the build stage and jobs in travis so i'm going to read what i have written in this uh, uh, writer so build stages is a way to group jobs and run jobs in each stage in parallel in travis so what does it mean that in uh, and there are different you can specify different stages in your uh, tra in travis and uh, you can uh, after specifying different stages and you can uh, name multiple jobs in that uh, stage and uh, the, all the jobs in that one stage will run parallel but after two stages will not run parallel uh, it will run uh, independently First of all, one stage will run, and after the completion of all the job in one on that stage, then only the another stage will run. So, yeah, uh, this is how the build work, uh, build stages work, build stage work in Travis CI. So let's enough of the theory. So let's go to the uh, practical. I will show you the demo. So let me go to the terminal. I hope the font size is uh, visible to you guys. So, uh, so I will go to the project directory test cd lambda travis so let me check the branch uh, so i am in a stages branch so which i have created recently so uh, let me open this in a yes code so i hope uh, the font is video uh, visible for you guys so for using uh, conditional uh, sorry i'm saying conditional for using uh, stages in a build stage and uh, stages in a build uh, in travis ci for uh, you have to define the stages and you have to define the jobs in that stage accordingly so let me show you so first of all i will show you from the scratch only so let me the language so choose the language your project uh, your project is using so let me so node yes so node yes so let me choose the version of node yes so let me choose it in so after that uh, let me go to uh, add new stages is in travis so let me add two stages dev stage and prod stage so development and production and yes and after that uh, let us go to uh, jobs you have to specify like that so include include give the stage name so let me give the name dev then in this uh, stage let me uh, deploy something so i'm using deploy so provider for my deploy will be uh, we will be writing a script so it will i will keep script so script can be anything uh, you can write echo I don't know what's happening echo hello all from dev so this will be our dev states so let me switch by like a new stage and it was name of that stage was broad so let's go and we will deploy script so yeah you can give provider and script and the script can be anything you like such as echo 
hello all from production yes so yeah in this way you can do uh, you can make different stages and use that stages uh, in the jobs to differentiate the process so uh, let me so you can also uh, instead of using this uh, deploy you can on, on also use simply uh, you can simply use your script you can also give name of your uh, job in uh, of that stage on if if it has multiple jobs so let me write uh, test one so this is test one so in test one script I can write mm, echo hello all from dev one so yes so in a different you can also specify new another name so, such as this two so in this two you can write script uh, echo hello all from dev two so in yes in the production as well so let me you can also use that instead of deploy you can give name uh, test one and script so let me just copy this and paste this here so yeah test one and it can be from prod one can be from prod two so yes in this way uh, you can uh, deploy your uh, you can uh, deploy your application in different stages so uh, this is just a demo uh, what we have done so uh, in this we can also do that branches and you can only I guess so uh, it can be uh, I'm in a staging stages branch so let me specify that branch so it will specifically run to this branch only uh, yes so we are good to go so let me show you the demo and uh, here what we have done is that we have uh, um, two stages name dev and prod and in dev we have two two jobs running first uh, job norm is name is test one and second job norm is test two and first job script is this and second job script is this and in the prod stage is also the similar case first job second job and the script is there so let me uh, change a little bit one one so i will do here two two one one the two two so i have changed this so after changing let me git add commit from m new files added so i'll do git push origin to my to my branch name stage so after pushing so i have pushed this so after that me go to this Travis so here we can see the four jobs in a queue and it is because that we have uh, written uh, f we have four jobs first one is test one test two test one test two two stages uh, two job each means four job first of all dev stage will run 
two jobs parallelly then uh, broad stage two jobs will run parallelly so let's go and check it out so yes we can see that the first dev stage uh, two jobs is running and two jobs of a prod is in a queue so first test one and test two of dev stage is running in a running stage and a prod uh, test one and test two is in a queue stage so yes it is is uh, working as it was written in a documentation so so yes hel hello all from dev one one this is an test one and and what does this say this is an test two and this says hello all from dev two two and this is a dev stage so after completion of dev stage the uh, prod stage two jobs are running uh, here you can see the two jobs running so and they are running test one and test two and they must say hello world uh, from prod one one hello world from prod two two so let's wait for some time for completion of this job so let's go here so this is test one so it say one it should say one one so it is seeing one one and in the next uh, next job it should say Two two yes. So in this way, uh, matrix. Uh, sorry, in this way, uh, build stages uh, run uh, you uh, can be implemented in a Travis CI. So hope uh, you guys uh, get some idea of uh, build stages in Travis CI. So uh, thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and uh, please like this video because uh, it gives it can it motivates me for making such kinds of video in a future as well so stay tuned thank you have a nice day